dad shoes dad shoes dad shoes that is the the big sneaker trend of 2018 i'm really curious what 2019 is going to have in store for us are we going to start wearing like grandpa shoes there's so many dad shoes on the market and so when it comes to selecting a pair that are going to be worn for pretty much every day, like daily use, you wanna make sure you get your money's worth. And a lot of these dad shoes are very expensive. Now, unless you're actually getting the dad shoes like the Nike Air Monarch or the uh, the New Balance, I think 574, they're usually gonna be more than $100 or more than $80. We're talking about like the Wave Runners, we're talking about the Balenciaga Triple S, we're talking about the Puma Thunder Spectra, there really isn't too many like $100 uh, dad shoes that are still sort of like fashion forward for these young, young sneakerheads out there. Because I know not everybody wants to rock the freshest Nike Air Monarchs. Today we're reviewing a pair of $100 dad shoes. And uh, I gotta say, Adidas did an exceptional job with this release. We're talking about the Adidas or Adidas, Adidas uh, Young 96. These sneakers right here, these specimens, these dad shoes that are not as as thick as the other dad shoes, and uh, because of the lack of thickness, you can you know save some money. So here we go. Let's get into it. Price point: a hundred dollars US. Now there aren't too many colorways of the shoe available. This is the black and white colorway that recently came out. The shoe has a small hit of purple right here, as you guys can see. Bam! Right on the tongue. We got that purple Adidas logo in that like glossy kind of uh, kind of material, and you also got that purple hit on the back. Now the other colorways besides this that I have seen so far are like a truly core black, like it's just a white and black. And then they also have a triple white colorway. I'll have the other colorways on screen right now. And if you are interested in buying these shoes, I'll leave links to the Adidas Canada and Adidas America website linked in description down below. So click those links if you guys want to cop them or just check them out on the Adidas website. This sneaker, the Young 96, is part of a collection that Adidas has. And there's no real, real name for it, but it's just a part of this sort of like aesthetic that they're going for. And this collection includes the Adidas Young 1 and the Adidas Falcon. Now the Adidas Falcon, you guys might have seen the famous or infamous, the I think, I, I can't believe she ended up on Forbes. Um, but you know, Kylie Jenner, Kylie Jenner has been heavily endorsing the Adidas Falcon for the lady side of Adidas. And uh, she's really been pushing that shoe. Adidas, you know, is throwing a ton of money at her and they're just putting a lot of hype into it. Oh, what up? It's Tim, Tim just came. <laughs> Tim just came through. Um, he was swimming in the pool. But Kylie Jenner has been pushing the Adidas Falcon, and the problem is with the Adidas Falcon is that they never made a men's version of it. They're a woman's exclusive sneaker. So the Young 96 is basically the male version, the guy version of the Adidas Falcon. The Young 96 is essentially a slimmed down version of the Young One. It's not as bulky, even though it is still like a dad shoe. It would still pass as a dad shoe. And if you're also a fan of the Adidas ZX Flux, you might even and see some sort of resemblance with that. And uh, I definitely would say that this is like a ZX Flux on a dad shoe type of level. So the ZX Flux is definitely more slim and then the young one is more bulky. So this is like the shoe that's right in the middle. Now this is a brand new Adidas model for 2018 and Adidas themselves says this sneaker is just inspired by their their archive, their rich their rich heritage, their archive of, of other Adidas sneakers. So you guys can definitely see, it does sort of give off that kind of retro vintage kind of vibe. And you know what, if you told me these sneakers released in 1996, I honestly would have believed you. Now in terms of the material and build quality of this sneaker for 100 US dollars, you can't expect the most amazing quality in dad shoes when you're comparing them to things like the Wave Runners or the Balenciaga Triple S or the Puma Thunder Spectras. But you're getting, you know, you get what you pay for. For 100 US dollars, it's, it's a solid shoe, solid build. You're gonna see some small things like loose stains here sticking out, but it's not that bad by any means. The shoe does feature an EVA midsole, which is gonna be very, very comfortable for daily use. And then it also has a mixture of materials, like right here, it has some white smooth leather that goes around the back. And of course it also has the black three stripes right here in this leather material, 
Moving along the toe box and the side panel of the shoe, it has this like black synthetic material right here. And you guys can see that synthetic material here on the toe box as well. It's not super breathable like a, like a mesh, like an athletic mesh. This is more for like a daily wear. So it's not a shoe I would necessarily recommend for running, like doing a strenuous amount of athletic uh, activities in. This is definitely more of like a lifestyle sneaker. Also, just a heads up, the shoe isn't actually completely black and white. The midsole is this like creamy off-white color. So it's not that pure paper white that it is on the white leather on top. You guys can see the contrast right there. So it definitely sort of has like this high fashion kind of look. And uh, it also sort of gives off a Raph Simmons kind of look. I forget the exact name of the shoe, but just the way they layer the different kinds of materials and the way the color blocking is on it, it does remind me of these Raph Simmons sneakers on screen right now. And those go for like, more than $400 retail, I think. Like, it's it's pretty expensive. Raph Simmons is a designer brand after all. Now, in terms of sizing and comfort, I did mention comfort earlier. These are a pretty comfortable sneaker, $100, and you definitely get that, like, $100 comfort value, like, value for comfort. Like, it's, it's a comfortable shoe. That's what I'm trying to say. You're not gonna have any problems with it if you're wearing these all day long. You absolutely need to go half a size down in these sneakers. If you go your regular size, your foot will be swimming in these. Even going half a size, down I felt there was a little bit of extra room in my right foot for whatever reason go half a size down in these and if you don't you're gonna regret it again I'll leave links to copies in the description down below if you guys want to cop them online and I think you can return them for free on the Adidas website I've done that in the past so if you're not feeling them just return them um, hassle free so yeah if you guys did make it to the very end of the video let me know what you guys think about these sneakers the Adidas young 96 in the comment section down below are these a cop are these a drop how do you feel about these $100 Adidas dad shoes. If you guys want more content like this, subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that red button. Follow us on Instagram as well. It's at sneakertalk365. So I'll feature you guys over on there. And shout out to the people right now on screen right now. These are some of the people who were using hashtag sneakertalk365 over on Instagram. So shout out to everybody on the screen. And uh, again, links in the description down below to cop these on the Adidas website. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.